We are gathered here today to celebrate the wedding of Aaron and Riaz. Thank you for coming to share this commitment uh, they are about to make with one another. Aaron and Riaz are grateful to start their married life together surrounded by people dearest and most important to them. They would also like to acknowledge the support of the people that can't be with them today. I remember Aaron's first date with Riaz. She was so excited in the text message and she said that this date had gone so extremely well and it looks like it really did go very well as here we are today at your wedding. I remember when Erin had her wisdom teeth out and then she was sitting on the couch waking up from her anesthetic and she wasn't quite awake yet. She said, Dad, I have something to tell you. I have a boyfriend. <laughs> I think that's really good, otherwise I still wouldn't know. <laughs> I never forget one time I hit you. I feel bad until today. Please forgive me. Riaz was the best baby out of three. He never cried and he ate well and he got potty trained before he turned one. <laughs> May you wake each day with gratitude for all your life may be and always feel that wonderment at the world surrounding you. May you welcome any strangers with an open heart and mind and always stand for what is right with all the strength that you can find. May you forgive yourselves of the mistakes that you have made and lifting those around you by forgiving their mistakes as well. And never grow indifferent but always striving to care. May you not forget what matters in the scheme of every day to live each precious moment in a kind and loving way. For this moment now is everything. Nothing matters but today. So you willingly embrace it and not let it slip away. For it passes all so quickly and one chance is all we get. So let's rid ourselves of wasted moments and live life without regret. Today is a celebration, a celebration of love. Despite all our differences, love is what we all share. It is the great unifier, our one universal truth, that no matter who we are, where we've come from, what we believe, we know one thing, love is what we're doing right. That's why you both are standing here. We have all loved in our lifetimes and in this moment, we're reminded that the ability to love is the very best part of our humanity. All of us here today have our own love stories. Some are short, others long. Some are yet unwritten, while others are just getting to the good part. There are chapters in all our stories that are sad or disappointing, and others that are exciting and full of adventure. And that brings them here, a time to pause, look back, and smile at the moments that brought them here. The million little ones that come between the big moments. These everyday moments fuse together into one big experience. Aaron, I didn't really believe in the concept of marriage. I don't consider myself confident and this manifests in the worst possible way, not believing in myself. 
not believing that I can fall through on my word, my goals, my commitments. That's why I found it so strange that year after year, you believed in me. You disregarded my flaws, of which there are very few, <laughs> and you believed. You gave me the courage to speak my mind, pursue my ambitions, and really to believe in myself. So today I'm excited to be married and more importantly to be with you. Riaz, as I started writing these vows, I realized we've been together for pretty much all of our adult lives. It will always be impossible to know how much of who we are today is because of each other versus who we were always going to be. But I do know that your loyalty to your family and friends, your dedication to achieving your goals, and your optimism for what life has to bring have contributed to making me a far better person today than I was when we first met. For the rest of our days and in those days, I vow to listen to you. When you're chatty and can't stop talking. When you've had a crazy day and you're dealing with 1,000 different things. When nothing is going right and you just need to vent. More importantly, I vow to hear you. To hear your frustrations, to hear about your, uh, your wins and your lessons learned. I vow to believe in you. When the stakes are high and the confidence is low, when you don't believe in yourself, I vow that I will always be there for you. I will be your number one cheerleader and I vow to support you. You know without a doubt that I will always push you to follow your dreams, no matter how much easier it would be to let you give up. Except for your dreams about extreme skiing and owner, owning a motorcycle, I promise to always challenge those ones. <laughs> that I will listen to the lessons you give me about being a better person. That I will give you lessons about being a better person. That I will greet you at the door when you come home, unless I'm post-call and already asleep on the couch. That I will appreciate your Excel spreadsheet presentations on the most cost-effective credit cards, even on a Friday night off, because what is important to you is important to me. The man that helped me understand what it means to have and to be a best friend. I can't wait for the next adventure with you by my side. Riaz Hair Mohammed, yes, yes. Riaz, we know that you're the perfect fit for Erin. Since you love adventures just as much as she does. You've got a similar sense of humor. The two of you are more confident together. You provide a little bit of edge to her more cautious approach to life. And that the two of you have a very special bond where you're able to be your honest selves with each other. We couldn't be more thrilled for you both. And we wish you two all the best as you had on this amazing journey together. To Riaz, who is the, the perfect combination of being courageous and starting his own business, but yet kind to all those around him, and to Erin for being incredibly intelligent. I've seen how she works and her magic, but at the same time, she always walks with humility. Over the years, I've learned that Erin is one of the most compassionate, compassionate and smartest people that I have known. And I do have to say, Riaz, just how lucky you are. You will leave here today with a wife who is warm loving and caring and Aaron how lucky you are as well you will leave here today having gained a lovely dress and a wonderful bouquet of flowers <laughs> so Riaz the first gift I impart to you is a bag of dark chocolate and I recommend that you take this as the start of your never-ending chocolate supply that stays in your pantry through the next year please take this bottle of champagne to drink in celebration of the next of Erin's many inevitable huge accomplishments, which I'm secretly hoping starts with her matching to adolescent medicine in Vancouver. I'd like to give Riaz these tools. Dishcloths. You will need this. Please always have patience. That's our advice. Patience. Remember, you chose this person. 
And you knew, and you knew about this before you agreed to the whole thing. So, you know, there's only all you can do is have some tools and keep moving forward. We love you. Welcome to the family. Riaz, my daughter Erin, our door is open for you day and night. We wish you good life together. We love you very much. I am so excited to see what the future holds for the two of you and I'm so proud to be able to call you my sister and now my brother-in-law. To growth because I've witnessed you both growing in the time that I've known you and I know that you will grow to love each other even more in the years to come. You got me losing all of my control This world is always feeling cold But you're everything I'm in worth living when you give me all your loving and our love is a chain reaction it comes in spurts so let's keep